Hi and welcome to presentation shortcuts. So today I'm going to learn about shortcuts. Shortcut is a video editing software which makes it easy for you to edit your videos. Cut short your videos out of like transitions or make it big and many things more. So before starting, don't forget to subscribe and so you'll never miss another thing of my new video. So shortcuts you can make videos like this you have four different videos combined into one so this is what you will be learning today and some of the very basics of shortcut so if you want shortcut then you have to go to shortcut.org slash download the link for shortcut is given in the video description here we have to click on this button and it will start downloading your shortcut app and after that the features of this are uh, support for the latest audio and video format supports popular image format such as BMP, GIF, JPEG etc. Frame accurate seeking for many formats, support for 4K resolution also and many more. The link for all of them are given in the video's description. So let's start. So here you can see this is how the start screen will be looking like. Uh, here you can see your recent projects or for opening a new project you have to open a file so this are the three sample videos which I had downloaded I had taken them from samplevideos.com the link for this is also given in the description so I'm going to open files and selecting this three all and opening them together. So now you can see this is a dummy video which is there. And after that, I'm just going to show you around. Uh, so after that, go to settings. Here you can see theme, usual light, or system. I prefer using this one which is Fusion Bar. Even in the view you can select the uh, what you want. And after that you have many other tabs. Logging, effects. Here you can see the level. Player which shows the work which you have totally done the audio meter and the color also today i'm not going to focus on that only on the editing tab so first of all i'm taking this to mb video and i'm dropping it over here here you can see you can even push it back but this will leave black space between them so make sure you can option by doing that you can edit it so i want to start with this one directly so i'm clicking on this which is split as playhead you can also click on s to do that your video is split into two and I want it to end over here so now you can see that this is split into two parts what I'm gonna do is Ctrl plus X to delete it and after that I'm going to the second file which is here and I'm again dropping it and making it go over here you can see this part is here it is a transition 
So this is how it will be looking like. It is in the fake transition. So after that you can continue the editing of it. I think the video we had ended. So I can cut this portion. And in starting, must start from here again. And till here, from here I don't want this part. I can again delete this. And again make it a new crossover. Again delete it. So totally of my video, this is how it will be looking. That's it. That's all I wanted. After that, I'm taking this big pie here. And until here it was done, I'm just cut crossing it. Remember, the, you have to only click on S to split it apart. It's taking too long, so I'm just cutting this part. Yeah, there it goes. And now my video is made of successfully with transition including So let's see the video from the beginning. Now this is my beginning part where it comes. After that I again have a transition of fade to show it go smoothly. After that this appears. So that's it. I'm selecting the first video and clicking on filters. Click on the plus sign. Yeah, I'm searching for text. Simple text. You can see here the time code has appeared. That I'm selecting the beginning. So it is at the middle of it. So after that, what I'm going to do is just drag it down. Here you can select the font, which color, pick up a screen color offline. Or some other colors. So this is how you can pick up a color. And so what I'm going to do in the next one is I'm again going to add a filter from the favorite. I'm going to select size, position and rotate. 
so click on the zoom in and zoom it very very in you can select the position where you want to zoom update a little yeah that's it so this is how my video will come nice okay so if you want to edit it you can click on keyframes what the keyframes will do is that during this whole of the video just from the start to the end you can select to give it some fade out and fade in animation and so this is not going to last for so long that's it this is also done the beginning Now you can see it has again got resize. So here this is done. Oh, so now I'm going to open another of the project. So yeah, oh, this four videos I'm going to select and we are going to make this mixed animal video and even this one uh, in which it goes black and white. So all of this is made using all the type of filters, just loading them, yes here it comes, first I am going to select the elephant and click it here, once it is tried, I am just randomly selecting this. Just about to five seconds. The video is here only about three, four, five seconds. Yeah, that's all. So now, after this, what I am going to do is track operation and a video track and put the lion video over there. Again, for all of them, we are going to do this same way. It is going to be the three of them are going to press it over there. Yeah, and the video track same to the penguin. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to the filters, add a filter, size, position, and rotate. I click on this, make it smaller. What is going to happen is that the back video is also going to be played. Okay. 
difference so the issue with the shortcut is only that the quality of the video when you are viewing it on shortcut is not very good but the actual video which you will get will be of better quality then i am going to the pelican we are also size position and rotate same way we are going to make it smaller so that the elephant is visible and there we go back to the lion So now I am selecting it and adding the view. So here, so now we have four of the images together. So now all of them are here so we have finished making this video also so the next what we are going to do is again I am selecting this here plus and some other so here I am selecting the magnet and increase the feathering decrease the radius so i actually am going to show another of my video so here i am back i'm opening one of the files of sample videos take an example of lion so here i am back so now you can see this video we are going to filter it a little bit so just click on filters and i'm going to put it over here so after that click on the press button the first one which i'm going to do is on videos big net so here you can see how it is looking or you can minus radius or increase it Sizing. opacity can be reduced can even save this presets so whenever you are using vignet you can select this no matter what you are doing now you click on 
face of one, he will get back to there. So here if you want to add a feature, you can just click on the tick mark or just remove it. Okay, uh, so this is how what the black and white can select a line with filtering high in the compass. And reducing a bit. So it basically looks like it's in a sketch format. So now it is not actually looking like that. I will just show you how the real video look like. So my video it looks like that. Well, so here you can see how it is looking like uh, all of them are here so it is normal nothing is going in a slow or nourish so whenever you are seeing it it will be normal but this is the only problem with the shop that I had mentioned earlier so now once we are done with it you can actually see with so how do you save it you have to click on export button and select the way where you are going to use it now this video i'm going to upload on our youtube so i'm selecting the youtube button and clicking on export file you can see the youtube is selected and export file then you have to give it a look so here i am just putting up animation one and it will be seen so now in the jobs you can see you that uh, this is coming over here so until it gets 100 you it won't be going so I started the download right now. So once it reaches it, then our find will be there, which is uh, proper format and not uh, going stopping. So if you like this video, then do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss any notification of my new video. Leave a comment below of what you think about this video and hit the like button. Thanks for watching this video. And so before going, I'm just showing you this. And uh, another incredible feature of this is uh, the file format which we do is less. You can see what I selected at the beginning. Well, so I hope you like this video, you found it interesting. If you did, then don't forget to leave a comment below and hit the subscription bell. So, bye.